Well, it's all happening this morning. So from lions hunting to shadow and cub. And you can see she's a little bit on the upset side. I think hyenas gave her a tough time. Lots of tracks for hyenas here last night. It seems as though she has put a bit of the carcass up into the tree. You can see the little cub is behind her and is making quite a bit of noise and squeaking away as she looks at mom and wants to go up. There's really so little left though that it's not going to be even worth going up into the tree for it. But look, mom is saying away i want to go up into the tree let's see whether they're going to go there or if they're going to head towards treehouse dam and go for a drink but okay girl don't worry it's okay she's a bit grumpy with her cub as well her cub has been jumping on her head and biting her and grooming her and she's been getting a little on the grumpy side with the cub so i think she's had enough and she's now going to maybe find somewhere to lie down Hopefully she'll settle somewhere at least in a little bit more of an open section because she does like to get into thickets. I see the cub is making its way towards a fallen over stump so maybe the cub is uh, going to lie there. But let's see, is she going to climb for us? Looks like she's going to maybe go up. No, she's just going to scratch her claws and you can see those massive claws just between the V there. There we go. Now are you going to go up girl? There's not very much up there for you and it's going to be a really difficult tree for her to climb. I wonder if maybe the cub didn't put it up in there because where that is is not exactly the easiest place and with Shadow's slight limp at the moment I'd imagine she's struggled to get away all the way to where that kill is but she's looking longingly up there. Let's see. There we go. So if you're wondering whether or not she can climb that is a perfect perfect example. <laughs> so even though she's got a little injury at the moment she's still able to climb really well which is fantastic. So I'm glad to see that she can climb, except that she's gone up the wrong branch of the tree, I mean the wrong trunk of this tree. Although it doesn't seem like it's going to stop her in any way. And look how she's just looking up longingly. How cool is this? <laughs> so like I say, we're being spoilt already this morning. Lions hunting, leopards climbing trees. It's all happening. Now they're not far from where we, they were last night. It took us a few minutes just to quickly spot them. They were really well camouflaged at one point. Well done, girl. So there we go, that's a perfect example that Shadow will be just fine. For those of you that are stressed about her, oh don't fall now, don't go up in that, tr no that's the wrong branch girl, the long way around is what that's called, but for those of you that were stressed that she wouldn't be able to, to move around and do what she needs to do, that's a prime example that even with that fall limb not being as sort of in the right condition as it should be in her limping she's still able to maneuver through even the toughest of trees I mean this is not an easy tree you can see she's got the head of the Steenbok now that she's coming down with and I wouldn't be surprised she drops it down and comes and feeds off it on the ground where it's a lot more comfortable but that's the head so if you're a bit squeamish probably the best time is to look away now let's see she's gonna come down slowly well done girl. You can see it's a little sore and that's why she kind of is a bit unsteady. She would be probably far more steady if she was in a situation where she hadn't um, had an injury but still able to do it and I'm sure she's going to now chomp down on her steering book. There's still a leg or two that are there as well. Riti, generally the cubs are starting to climb trees already at about three months old. So that's when they're starting to climb trees for the first time and when it becomes far less dangerous for them. Now I'm going to just move slightly because where we are now is not great in terms of being able to see either her or the cub. So I want to just try and sneak forward slightly just so we can have a little look. So let's see, she's starting to crunch down on her... Steenbok and what I am amazed at is just how relaxed the cub has become. The cub is a lot more relaxed than what it was the last time I saw it. It's just sitting watching us and not really too phased at all. You can see there on the left, remember the last few times we saw it, it would kind of slink down, get its head low and run away. Now it's just sitting like a normal leopard and it's just watching. It's not even lowering its head too much either. So beautiful little individual and she's fast becoming far more relaxed. But I forget how small she still is, a tiny girl, much like her mom and her sisters have been, all very small little females and she's going to be hopefully an absolute asset to this area as well. And I'm hoping that we'll obviously see, it brings to mind Shungile when we see these young females and hopefully Shungile will come back 
to us and we'll be able to find her in the coming days. She's been an individual that's been a little bit on the scare side, but at least we have another female that could potentially be in this area. So hopefully Shadow brings this cub somewhere or leaves this cub somewhere in an area that we will still get to see her from time to time because she is a beautiful little individual and reminds me a lot of both her mom and Karula and, and that lineage. She's got the typical Karula lineage look about her and I think she'll be a very pretty young female, much like little Shongile is. But I'm, like I say, super surprised at how relaxed she's become. Mr. P in Canada, you're saying how is the injury going to heal if she keeps putting pressure on it? Well, she doesn't really have a choice, Mr. P. It's not like she can go and lie on the couch with her foot up and order room service or a delivery. So she's got to, unfortunately, she's got to just push through it. And the body is quite amazing. Is that once pushing through, and if it was, let's say, like a crack in a bone or something like that, it will just heal on its own accord. It will take long, a much longer time period than it would if she rested up and wasn't putting weight on it. But over time and her walking eventually the muscles get stronger around there they start to basically develop and, and help her with with that injury and and she's able to then cope and if she can climb trees the way she did now and catch Steenbok then she's just fine she's going to be okay and, and her limp is getting less and less the more we see her I mean she still is limping but it's really not as prominent or as noticeable as what it was a month ago and so she's slowly but surely the muscles and the and the bone structure are going to be resetting and, and, and the bone, I mean the muscles will start to grow again and get stronger and the more weight she puts on it and the more she walks the better it will get. It's just unfortunate that they have to do it that way and that's why it takes so much longer. If it was probably an injury that a human had, let's say if it is a muscular tear or something that was hurting her, you would find a, a human would have put its feet up and, and would have rested and put it in a cast and basically that injury probably would have healed within a, a month. Whereas she has to kind of run around, she still has to feed, and, and feeding is not easy. They've got to chase animals and they've got to run over uneven terrain. And so that means that it extends that that process out a lot more. I think the, the first time we saw her, it must be almost two months ago now, um, when she was limping. So it's it's a situation that, you know, at the end of the day, as time goes on and, and it will get better, it just takes much longer than what it would in people because we immobilize ourselves or that limb and make sure that we're not putting too much pressure on it. Whereas with her she doesn't have that luxury and so it's just her body's got to deal with whatever the problem is and heal slower but it will heal eventually where are you off to my girl and she's really enjoying her steenbok head that's for sure and the cub is looking longingly at mom as if to say please can i have it i don't you've got what i want look <laughs> It's almost like I want that head for me. And just kind of staring at mom and saying, stop being such a glutton. But she doesn't look like she's eaten that much. The cub is quite full and rounded, whereas I think mom hasn't had nearly as much food. So unfortunately, mom's going to feed a little bit. And if the cub wants it, can probably go up and get one or two of the legs that are still up there. But it might not have the jaw power yet to be able to break down those legs and those bones and, and actually crunch them down. You can hear even shadow... You can hear the crunching of the bones quite clearly as she goes through the skull. So her jaw power will be a little bit stronger than the cub's. And make sure it will allow her to get to that brain case and those kind of things that maybe the cub wouldn't have. Amazing. So I'm super, super happy also with Shadow that she's managed to find a meal. It's, you know, we followed her the afternoon before yesterday and then or two days ago, and she was hunting everything in sight. And so the fact that she eventually managed to get something really is wonderful news and it's something that she needed just to sustain her a little bit longer keep helping with that healing of the injury and hopefully as we'll see her hanging around in this area a little bit longer she's right in the center of juma at the moment she's i mean at the hyena den of philemon's cut line which is about as central as you could possibly get at this stage so hopefully she's going to be a few days in this area and we will be able to see her and spend a lot more time with her 
around here. Now, we have one big cat predator with its cub and eating away at a carcass here in the Sabi Sands, but Jamie Patterson has managed to follow her lioness, and I believe she too has cubs to look at.